Hey, good morning, guys. So first thing this morning, we're going to load some hay. I have my pickup here. There's a stack of hay, and I think I'm going to load about 20 bales. So let's do this. <laughs> Okay, we got 20 bales on there. Now I'm gonna head home and feed and see what Henson's up to. Hey, I'm out here at section nine. My wife told me to take the GoPro. Well, first she said, what are you doing today? I said, ah, you know, just the same old stuff, just cowboying. She's like, well, what are you doing? I, said, ah, I don't know, I'll do something, do some cowboying. So, well, here you go. Here's the GoPro. Go prove it. So now I gotta prove that I'm, I'm working, not just uh, playing around. Well, it's kind of playing around most of the time. So I got the trailer. I gotta load up a cow. There was a cow that uh, was a little bit ornery to Jerry, and that's a pear. The pear wasn't on. Just the mama. <clears throat> so he didn't like that, and. Uh, we locked her up, and um, now I gotta load her up and haul her off. So she's in the pin right here, and I'll um, see if I can load her on foot. If not, I got a horse too. But <laughs> we'll see if she'll try to run me over. She's kind of over there right now, acting like she will. We'll see. Well, there she is. Yeah, Jerry didn't want want her around. If she's, I guess she tried to run him over. All right, got the gate tied back. I'm gonna run her in. I close the gate and lock her up in that front apartment. But if uh, if she's too bad, I'll jump on my horse. She don't seem too bad. Yeah, Jerry was just send her to the cell barn. <laughs> yeah, she ain't too bad. Calf might be worse than her. Just rope them and drag them in. All right, so we're back at the ranch, and I just wanted to show you guys my load of hay on my truck. You can suggest um, a better way or learn from it. I don't care really, um, but this is how I stack my hay, especially if I'm going to get. 20 or more bales. Um, I've got four bales on the bottom row and then eight layer, eight per layer. So eight plus eight is 16 plus four on the bottom is 20. So today I picked up 20 bales and that's how I stacked it. <laughs> um, these are tied of course with the twine so they don't fly off but yeah that's how I 
um, load and stack hay. I guess not just me, probably more people do it that way too, but fun little thing I wanted to show you. Something I was gonna mention is that hay, uh, three wire alfalfa right now is $16 in Arizona. How much is it where you are? I just fed these guys and it looks like that is dirty and this one needs to be refilled. So I'm gonna go back to the house and uh, fill up a water tank and haul some water. These are mine that I ride. We pin them all together. We don't baby them and we let them be horses. And that's what we like to do. So there they are having a little bit of breakfast together. There's that calf and that cow like got out of the pen. I didn't really think they were that bad. Well, the cow wasn't too bad. The calf was naughty. I got back up straighter to load them up. Not just use that cheap panel. But I'll go put them back in the pen. There are those two fence crawlers. I put them on a fence line, take them back to the corral, and they just went, went right through it. And then I had to go all the way around the opening gate and come over on this side of the pasture. I'm thinking, well, the calf went through first. So maybe if I catch the calf, the mom will follow me, but I don't know about that either. Well, I decided to catch this calf because mama won't, isn't going to leave. And they weren't staying together very good. He wanted to go one way, she wanted to go one way. So I thought I'd just catch this guy. And then when I caught him, mama came running back. So that's a good thing. So, yeah, she'll, she's staying. He's right here. I'll take him back to the pen. Yeah, I thought I had, I thought this was recording. Had on my belt loop. Oh, he's going good. Gotta go through some rocks up here. Guess Jerry just knew that they were just a little bit goofy. He didn't like them. I didn't think they were that bad, but now I think they are. <laughs> Come on, cow. You gotta follow your baby. Tuckered out from running off. I'll say he's the instigator. His mama jumped in the trailer. And then he's the one that jumped through the fence when I put him down the fence line and take him back to the pen. So yeah, he's the naughty one. So there's the water tank I'm going to fill. That's Pretty much our water pickup that's my son's truck and he goes to school so it kind of just stays parked and we just always keep the water tank on there first i'm going to water my flowers it's like the end of october and my flowers are still doing good and my grass is still green so that makes me happy I really don't like winter and the cold months. Ugh, just dreading it. But I'm glad these guys are still hanging in there. Anyway, Henson said he's trying to catch a cow and a calf. I, I 
sent him with the GoPro and he called me and he said, hey, the battery on this thing is dead. So, <laughs> dang it, I hope he gets enough footage. But we'll fill this water tank and we'll haul it down to the horses here. After a while, it probably takes about, I don't know, 45 minutes to fill that. Oh, today is a very warm day. My watch says the high is gonna be 73. Right now it's 71. So it's a beautiful day. Oh, we're almost there. gate all he has to do is go straight straight that way we'll get in the gate go to the trailer all right that was pretty embarrassing so i guess i know why jerry wanted to sell them they're just a little bit naughty um, that calf i think is more naughty than the mama he's the one that i got him on the fence line while i was bringing him back He's the one who went through the fence, and she went through the fence because he went through the fence. So I put a rope on him and got him back here, and she followed him. She came with him. So it's a good mom. I don't know, naughty calf. I guess she's a little bit naughty too. I don't know. But I, uh, I got, I backed up closer over the, over this side where they did go through. And went through I put that panel there and they just lift that panel up and went through so they should just jump right in I'll probably bring my horse in there with them and chase them in but yeah that was kind of embarrassing and I didn't even have the gate closed with water lot so when when they did get out they just took off and I wasn't even saddled up or ready well okay I'll saddle them I'll saddle them I was saddled up, but my bit wasn't on, wasn't tight. I didn't even have my boots on. I thought this cow was going to be kind of fast. I thought I better have my, my shoes on in case I got to run. So, yeah, it took me a bit to get over to them and around them because they were, they were getting out of here. They are getting out of this corral. But they're back in. We'll get them loaded up now. The GoPro died. Ten Hill sent me off with the GoPro that had like 16% battery life yeah it kind of been fun i guess kind of wasted time i wanted to do some other stuff needed to do some other stuff that's what I, that's what i needed to do i need to do other stuff not this stuff all right hold on tie him put him in the alley should go in i'll bring my horse in maybe i don't know we'll see kind of mad at me I, that I tied him up, I guess. Don't be treating my baby like that. Yeah, that's him. I don't even think he's branded. But that's all right. They'll sell as a pair. They don't need to be branded to sell as a pair. <laughs> yeah, I'll close that gate and then I'll just drag him in. There he is.
renegade. Okay, let's open this up and put him. See if he'll get in. If not, I'll drag him. I'm just gonna put a rope on this little guy and pull him in the trailer. You see, you will not get up to there. I could probably pull him in by myself with my superhuman strength. <laughs> kind of, that's kind of mean. It's mad. There we go, I just put a rope on that calf. That laid up short and told his R to jump in, he pulled him in. So that was good. Now just take the rope off. We'll be okay. Yeah, we got the mom and the calf back together. Let's see if you can see them. <laughs> They're both in this front compartment. And they're going to go uh, to their, I guess, new home. We're going to rehome them. Now, I didn't expect the day to end or to start out like it did, but it ended the way I expected it with the cows loaded up ended up good um, it was pretty eventful so it wasn't too boring today ended up uh, taking longer than I thought but didn't quit trying Hopefully Henson's there by now. So Henson and Zar are home. It looks like Henson already Woo! unloaded the cow and calf. Yeah, he said she was pretty crazy. So I don't think he was lying. Uh, still a bunch of calves in here that we're weaning. Looks like we're gonna have to haul those out here soon. <laughs> that looks like a crazy mama. <laughs> oh, hey, Zar. How was your day? Hmm? Vincent took you to work today? up with Jerry or Henson really today. Uh, <laughs> Henson's got to go back out to the ranch and shed a few gates. I don't know, something like that. And I am following him to the arena. He's going to unload Czar, pick up his other outside horses that he has to ride. Um, I think he's going to be able to fit in four at least this evening. So he'll take those out to the ranch and ride them while he's shutting gates and stuff. And I have to ride my horses at the arena. Um, I've got a few on the pattern and they just need to be worked on the pattern. So I'm not gonna go out with him. Anyway, that's, that's what's going on. I'm going to ride at the arena. Henson's gonna ride on the ranch. And Jerry, I don't know where he is. I can't keep up with him. <laughs> I know that he went up to one of the other pastures that um, had a cow in the wrong, on the wrong side. So he took care of that and taking care of other business. I don't know, water, 
I don't know. <laughs> so, it's kind of just how it goes on the ranch. There's days when I stay with the guys and we all stay together and we do one thing all day. And then there's days like this where I have to get hay, I have to haul water and ride my own horses. And then Henson does his thing and Jerry will go and take care of some other stuff that comes up or do the water or I don't know. So crazy day. Zars unsaddled and we're just gonna <coughs> let him run around for a minute. Go ahead, bud, go on. Okay, Henson's down there. I'm gonna grab his horses. Let's see if I can get three ridden. Look at Blondie's number. What is hers? Seven. Oh, let me get out of your way. Go ahead. So Blondie is a seven. That means she was born 17. 18, 19, 20, 21. Four this year. Here's Easy. She's going to be my first one. Still have her. She is on the pattern now, though. I started her on the barrels and she's loping through them. Okay, she's getting stronger every ride. Okay, we'll see you at dark. So, I was looking for my bits, and I couldn't find them, so I went all the way to the house and went to the trailer that we used um, when we hauled down to Phoenix. Didn't find them in there. Looked in my car, looked in the pickups, the one we took to the valley. Couldn't find them. Um, then I found them. They're in my trailer in this bag with my sport boots. Anyway, they're in there because we went in the other trailer to Phoenix and I went to the barrel race. You guys saw that. And I packed all my stuff into this bag and those buckets and then moved them in the other trailer and moved all my stuff back in here when we got back and it'd be nice if we had a trailer that had um that was a stock combo that has the you know the stock back and the the dressing room so we could haul cows calves whatever and horses and still have a place to lock up our tack and stuff so if you guys know of a good stock combo type trailer let us know i think we're gonna be on the hunt for one of those real soon i would love a wilson but those are so hard to find um oh and it needs to be a 24 at least and at least a seven foot wide a double back gate would be nice <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna get every single thing that I want without doing a special order and 
Wilson said their special order trailers are about a year and a half out. So that sucks. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. We've kind of been looking at the EB trailers. Um, I guess comment something in the comments if you have a suggestion. I just got done riding dibs and <laughs> her tail is kind of staticky so I was doing this and I felt a big old knot in her tail. I guess I just don't brush tails enough so I'm gonna try and get that big old rat's nest out. Sorry Dibsy. I'm sorry. <laughs> But she did get her feet trimmed yesterday. She sees the chiropractor. She gets PEMF sessions. I just neglect her tail, I guess. <laughs> okay, she's all done. Beautiful. No rat, no more rat's nest. Maybe next time I'll do her mane. <laughs> Sun is going down pretty quick. We've got one more to ride. This is Ghost. Remember that naughty horse, Ghost? That's him. Okay, guys. I'm going to get Ghost put away. And feed the horses and call it a night. See you next time. How do you flip this around?